I smell a story. It happened here on the Hudson River. And you're going to hear it from me. My name's Guy Mann. That's man with two ends. Sorry I'm late. I would have been here sooner. I was riding over the Brooklyn Bridge. Some guy decided to commit suicide. I say, mister, why don't you go home and stick your head in the oven? You're holding us all up here. Out there in the harbor is Liberty Island, the great Statue of Liberty. Before it was Liberty Island, it was called Bedloe's Island. And that's where July 13th, Friday the 13th, that's right, 1860 was the last public execution in New York. A man by the name of Albert Hicks was hung until he died. They say about 20,000 people showed up for the execution. Some on the island, some surround the island on boats. But who was Albert Hicks? Well, the waterfront, this is his turf. On the, on the west side here, but also on the east side. He used to hang out in these bars, saloons. He was a killer, murderer, the baddest man on the waterfront. And he was looking for his next victim. He was looking through want ads, ships manifest, to find the right ship, the right crew. And he found it in this oyster sloop called E.A. Johnson. We're supposed to head out to Virginia, bring back thousands of oysters, and sell them to South Street Seaport. So he knew there was a big load of cash on the boat to buy the oysters. His plan was to get on the ship as a mate, and on the first leg of the journey, steal the money before they got to Virginia, which he did. It was him, the captain, Captain Burr, and two young deckhands, brothers, Oliver and Smith Watts. They head out from Brooklyn, Gravesend Bay, March 30th, 1860, heading to Virginia. They pass Coney Island. Around midnight, they get by Sandy Hook Lighthouse. Oliver's on the helm. Hicks comes up from below and asks Oliver if he can take a turn on the wheel. Oliver says, sure. When he's on the wheel, he has an ax behind his back. Oliver's looking over the rail. Hicks says, is that the barn to get light out there? He says, no, no, we're not gonna see that for another hour and a half. He says, are you sure? Is that the barn to get lighthouse? When he moves a second time, Hicks takes his ax and whacks him on the back of the head. Down below, his brother hears the commotion. He comes up, sticks his head out. Smith takes the ax and whacks him across the neck. His head comes off and rolls down the deck. Then he goes down and finishes off Captain Burr. Steals the money from the safe, and his plan was to take the sloop up the Hudson River here and abandon it a little further up. He never made it that far. He couldn't handle it by himself. So he drilled three holes in the ship, in the boat, and tried to sink it. He got in a rowboat, headed out to Staten Island. But why would he kill the captain and his two mates? But he goes, dead men tell no tales. See, back then, there's no DNA, there was no fingerprints, there's no security cameras. When you killed somebody, there's a good chance you weren't gonna get caught. And that's what he thought. But he made a big mistake. He took the captain's pocket watch and a locket of Oliver's neck. In that locket was a photo of Oliver's sweetheart, Catherine Dickinson. A trial took place. The last witness at the trial was his sweetheart, Catherine, and on the stand, she showed the jury the photo of her sweetheart, Oliver. When the people saw that, they were weeping. It took them seven minutes, seven minutes, to make a verdict, guilty. And then on July 13th, 1860, on Bedloe's Island, he hung poor Albert Hooks, Hicks. And that's the story. Here's a tip for you would-be killers out there. Leave the watch. Take the canoes. Until next time, keep your nose clean. I'm out of here.